Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lorena Gary and I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday. So please don't forget to hit that like button and that bell button. It'll notify you guys every time I post a new video. Um, but yeah, so today I'm super excited because I'm actually reviewing my whole entire gel collection. I'm gonna go over some of the ones that I had in my kit before when I really, really start, or when I first, first started. I'm gonna go ahead and save that to the end of the video. So that's kind of just like stuff that I I don't really use anymore but um stay tuned for the very end of the video and you guys will see why i don't use those anymore um all right you guys so to get started in today's video i'm super excited to be sharing these brands with you because these are things that i use on a daily basis um with art and everything so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the recent collections that i actually bought in the last couple of years because that is something that i feel like it's hard to figure out a brand that is going to work for you so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into today's video i'm super excited so i have this lovely little table right here so I had actually first started building my gel collection with these OPI ones. I feel like if these are the only ones that you could get your hand on out of all of these and you're only looking to buy in store, these are pretty good. I did used to like using their white. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of the white one that I would use. I would actually use that for nail art. And they were okay, but some of them I do feel like um on acrylic nails they would last me but i don't know what i was doing wrong but i don't feel like they would ever last me on actual natural nails like the whole entire thing would end up peeling off um again i do mostly use my gels over colored or i use them over over acrylic and some of them i do use on natural nails the ones that i do use on natural nails that i feel like i could give you an accurate review i'll let you know um but this one, this one, honestly, you guys, this is from Essie. This is in Waltz. This is a milk white. If you guys seen that alligator set on my Instagram, definitely recommend checking that out. Or if I can, I will insert a picture. But this color, honestly, out of all of Essie, I don't really care for any of their gels. <laughs> I started building my collection with this one as well, but just because this brand was actually really, really affordable for me at the time, because as you guys know, you could usually get OPI. If you're a professional, you could get OPI for only like some of them. A lot of my regular polishes from OPI, I would get them for a dollar or max I would spend was like five dollars. So, and you guys know if you guys are a consumer, it's actually ten dollars a bottle, but with these they actually run anywhere from like for Essie, I think it's like $11. So this is actually a cheaper brand for gel polish. Um, so that's why originally I started to build with this. But you could see like the brush on here. It is not my favorite. It's a very, very thin. But um, Waltz, when I first got this color, I did not like it. But it is like the most beautiful milky white. You guys know milky white is... A trend right now and yeah so this one is actually really really good i do want to show you the brush on the opi one too because the brush on here it's not bad it's actually pretty nice that is it but just a standard brush but if you are getting waltz honestly if you are someone who has like a very very small nail bed that's the only time i would recommend that one for you or if you're doing a lot of little girls gel manicures um but yeah so the next one we are actually going to be going in on is this set from tracy's nails you guys know that this was i think one of her collections or this was the one when i had found her she was doing this collection and honestly you guys the colors that i have right here are baby doll bel air and banger um but these were bomb so i ended up actually purchasing this brand because i would see nailed by christy actually had this in her nail room and i was like what's that brand and this was the only one that i could actually make out the bottle and then like the name on it so i was like okay you know what i'm gonna actually try and use that brand and see because if nailed by christy likes it then maybe i'll like it too and instead of just getting only one i was like you know what it's actually cheaper for me to buy the whole collection so i have her whole collection of these 
in you guys these are actually really really bomb i feel like these actually stay on the nails really really well i did never try essie on red natural nails so i can't really tell you but definitely on acrylic nails it does work really really well but tracy's nails oh my gosh you guys even on natural nails acrylic nails this one is so freaking bomb um i don't feel like with this one i have any problems with curing but you guys could see like this is super pigmented and it the bottles don't get all weird and like i don't know like the product doesn't get weird so that's something that i'm super happy about because even though i haven't been gravitating to these ones late as of lately they are still really really amazing products i do need to put them on my swatches that you guys see right here so then everyone could see them and you know you actually get use of this product because i don't want this product to go to waste because it's really good stuff um that stuff is actually really really bomb Okay, you guys, another collection that I have been growing and, um, oh, something about Tracy's nails is her, I'm, I feel like I can't really remember what this one, I think this one has a little bit of a dispersion layer, so if you guys are looking for something that is, like, super, um, close to regular nail polish if that's something that you're like used to working with i definitely recommend getting tracy's nails and trying her stuff out because her dispersion layer is like a little to none especially with the next collection i'm going to show you guys from her because this one i do have her whole collection in this and this is actually really really this this collection is actually really really good as well i have heard some people where they say that they don't like it but honestly if you are using it the correct way and using it the way her instructions say i promise you guys you guys will love this but you need to make sure that you're applying thinner coats of it because it is super pigmented you need to make sure that the light is going to penetrate it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch in front of you guys but see nothing nothing too crazy and if you don't glob it on there you should be fine i do feel like you need when you are using the black i feel like definitely you need to go back to back on the swatches but that is it like this i feel like you don't need to do the, the coats of this because it's so pigmented I know sometimes it's like you want to do the full coverage in, in one but I promise you like look at that it's so pigmented and I'm gonna hold it up to the light a little bit so you guys could see if it's gonna allow me to see through it if you guys can um, but yeah you guys this product is actually a really really good product it's something that I definitely recommend having in your collection because it is just so good honestly all these products I do use them except OPI OPI kind of gravitated away from I don't have it on my swatches currently right there so it's kind of hard to even show my clients that I do have them but even when I do have them I don't like to use them that much because I feel like it bubbles out the nail no matter how much I wipe away the sides and the edges um I feel like it's still I feel like deforms the nail and it makes it look as if like my shaping wasn't on point when my shaping was on point <laughs> so definitely I feel like if I had to skip on any of these it would definitely be this one and then let's go ahead and go into these ones these ones are kind of more of a specialty one because they are glitter ones these are from creations you guys and the creations glitter oh my gosh you guys this is bomb i only have four of them but i need more of them <laughs> because they are actually really really good tracy's nail she did end up coming out with a line where it was um how do i say like it was like a super glitter flaked like this but you guys like i even did a set today where i had used these i'm gonna go ahead and insert that and she had a beautiful beautiful um set but look at that look how much glitter is packed in here look at all that glitter you guys this is so beautiful you could do you could actually do designs with this i do lines with it you have to like paint a little bit over but you are able to even get away with only doing one coat of it so i feel like that is super amazing especially with glitter usually before in the past i know with essie's 
their gel glitters are so washed out like or how do i say like they're not um there's not enough glitter packed into them and so i really like the creations one i i know that might be a personal preference some people they might like more scattered glitter but if that was the case for me i feel like it would just be better for me to get loose glitter sprinkle some and then apply another coat and sprinkle some but this like whenever i get like glitter gels this is how pigmented i want them to be i want them to be filled jam-packed with glitter so these are amazing i love those i wish they i don't know if they come in different colors but i do know that nail supply that i did review in one of my last videos it was the last place or no it was the time before that um my first video that i reviewed um that nail shop they do have creations there so if you guys are local to me definitely check them out and then the next one that i do want to show you guys is this one right here honestly you guys if you guys are new to doing nail art i love this one because this is actually very 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 forgiving this is something that i ha actually created with it it is like a crocodile type of nail if you i am going to be doing a tutorial on my channel of this so stay tuned for that but um yeah so i did end up doing that and i don't know if you guys could tell on the lines the lines are so they look so nice and crisp like i don't know what it is but i feel like with this brand actually doing designs with it is very very nice but if you are looking something for more of like a paint like thing i do feel like you have to be a lot more precise with this um then you do have to be with this like i don't know what it is you guys but something in this one is it just allows it to be very forgiving it does have a dispersion layer thing over it and usually with gels that they do have a dispersion layer what i do notice is that the, the you can't really do a design over it so even if you use the prey builder gels if you try to use that and you try to do a design over it it's gonna be a mess you guys so but with this one it's not like that i know builder gel is a little bit different and whatnot but the dispersion layer on there it almost wants to act as like a blooming gel but not a blooming gel if that makes any sense but it basically just wants to spread out and this one it's not like that at all but i want to show you guys some of the colors that i have gotten because this one right here, this one is, I feel like, a good one to have in your collection. This is the color of it. It's a beautiful, beautiful nude. And something that I have been really trying to do and look for um, when I am getting certain gel polishes is that I'm trying to look for... Um, I'm really trying to look for gels that they look like colored acrylic um just because since as now working with gel x i really want my gel x that i do personally on my own hands i really do want them to look like acrylic so i feel like this one it's like a must in your collection this one is called sea swing and sun and i love that they have like the tops on the bottles that's something that's important to me because honestly when i got like opi their bottles come like that this one i would actually like inside of the e of the the se ones i would actually paint them in so it's like you could see that it's a little bit white in there and then the old tracy's nail collection it would have stickers the stickers honestly do not look anything like the actual color that it is like you guys could see this one i'm going to show it to you this is the color and this is what it looks like i mean it's similar but it's not dead on like i don't know to me it's like this looks more minty to me and then this looks like more green to me like the color isn't like super dead on so when you're going to go and look at look for them inside of your kit it's hard to find it but tracy's nails they do have it i wish creations they had it because this brand so far it is so bomb i'm gonna have to paint them at the top of there myself just so then i know which color is which but these have them as well the nail addicts but let me go ahead and show you because i did end up swatching the nail addicts one and these they do require two coats for them but even though they're super pigmented like if you're just trying to do a design and whatnot i feel like you're able to get away with just one coat but this one i did do two coats on it and you guys could see that this one it looks like a colored acrylic so that one's pretty pretty cool 
This one is Mistress. Mistress. This one is Monchery. I think that's how you pronounce that. This one is another glass. And I'm so glad because look at this color does not match the sticker at all. But it matches the top you guys. So I feel like honestly the fact that they add that to their stuff. It really 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 helps. Vegan nail tech honestly. I feel like even if you're not a nail tech. I feel like that's something you need. This one is Sandman. This is so pretty. Sandman is a really really pretty color. I love Sandman. And then this one is Baby Rose. I feel like Baby Rose and Sandman, these are actually really good baby shower colors. Because this is like a baby pink. A super, super light baby pink. I know the camera's picking it up almost as white. But I promise you guys, it is a baby pink. And then it says, For the Lady. Look how cute that is. The color is so pretty. And then last but not least, we have ravishingly naked and that's the one that i actually used on the croc nail but yeah you guys so all of these gels honestly i recommend all of them the only ones that i would say pass on it but just because you could actually make your own milk white you just put a little bit of um, white in there and put base coat mix it around and you will have the pigment color that you actually need and then OPI, save your money. This brand is actually pretty expensive. They are a known brand, but honestly, I feel like you guys could find better ones than these. Um, if I had to pick three out of these, it would definitely be Nail Addicts. Nail Addicts is so great. I feel like even just being able to expand my line with this i feel like it's really really nice um and they're actually super shiny even if you just apply them these are really nice because they act like an actual paint and i love that and then this one right here i do really want to try more of these ones but as far as the glitter ones i feel like these are bomb all right you guys now let's go ahead and dabble into another one of my kits so <laughs> Some, this is the old gel polishes that I would use. I have them in this OPI box. It's dusty. You guys can see it's been in the closet for some time now. This hasn't been touched. So there's like just random gels in here. And I'm just going to go over some of them and tell you what I think. Um, ASAP, this is good if you're a DIY nail art person. I feel like this is pretty a decent one. Um, I used this a couple times on my client, and I feel like it looked actually really pretty. Um, then, but I I don't know. The glitter is on there. I wouldn't recommend. They're too sheer for me. I like, I feel like with me, I like glitter. I love glitter throughout it. I don't want to have to feel like I have to go back because a spot is, like, completely missed. Mm, this is, I feel like this is, like, a brand that you would find off of Amazon. This was a mood changing one. I don't even know where I got this from. I think the brand is called Le Chat. L-E Chat. Mm. It's a mood color changing one. So it, it goes for a light light burgundy to a darker one. And that's okay. It stood on the nails actually pretty well. Um, this one right here. This is actually one that I was gifted from a client. And I'm super, super thankful for this. Because these were the ones that actually got me wanting to try gel more because I didn't even um when I first started doing nails I didn't even how do I say like I didn't even offer gel so yeah um and then I have an SE polish in here this one's okay I don't know the SEs are whatever like you guys could see how thin the brush is and this one oh you know why this one's in here is because the brush was all crazy look at that like it's all weird i don't know like the brush was like messed up on this one but these are super super thin and they run a lot especially these ones the 
the orally ones these run all over the place you guys mm, jellish was okay honestly i didn't really hate jellish but i also didn't really i don't know it didn't get me to buy more you know what i mean um and i think that is it you guys other uh, it's just other like repeat brands um another jellish one let's see how this the pigment is on this one this one's called morning dew oh yeah see this one like separated a lot and the color looks orange <laughs> but yeah you guys so that's pretty much it for today's video that's the reason why i just didn't really use the ones in the box is just because it needed one needed more pigment they moved a lot like these ones they would really deform the nails a lot it looked like you didn't even shape like you might as well have not even shaped with those ones um because there wasn't enough pigment it's almost like you had to build it up and even if you wipe the sides of the nails it looked as if you didn't even paint them because it would take the pigment off but leave like leave like a clear coat on it it was so weird so um definitely recommend the ones all of the ones that i first showed you um except opi the only one out of the se one that i would recommend is waltz all right you guys so that is pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and i hope it was super educational for you guys because i know when you guys are beginner nail techs or just a nail tech in general it's so hard to figure out brands to that you want to try out because sometimes you might get some and you feel like it's a complete waste of your money and a lot of brands they actually do not have a return policy so or like their return policy is like you can't return it or you can't not get refunded because of sanitization reasons so um yeah i definitely recommend checking out more videos seeing different things that you like and i have tons of videos on a lot of these products i know i don't use creations in every single look but i have used them in some of my videos so if you guys want more videos where you guys are able to see application make sure to do review my tutorial videos because i use a lot of these products in there all right you guys i hope you guys really enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and as always i'll be back with more videos bye